Maka's Guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Mac here bringing you the Origins of Pain DLC, 10 squirrel locations. The first one is on Carnival of Rust, and you have to jump that gap using the scorpion and hit that uh, little uh, target using your front tire to set it off, and then you just have to complete the course uh, with no faults. Doing that is actually a lot harder than it seems. Scorpion recommended. You can use the Phoenix and front flip though. And once you get to this point, you will get a squirrel, and that's one of ten. And I got the achievement on that. Next up is jet lag beginner. Uh, we're just gonna go up to here where you see the plane crash. We're gonna get a little momentum and start going backwards. We have to go all the way to the beginning of the map, which is quite a distance, but it's actually not that hard. So here you see me going backwards, and once you reach this part, you can have momentum and go all the way, or you can use your brake to um, steer yourself backwards. And once you do make it all the way back, there will be an explosion. Then um, you'll wait about five seconds, and you'll see the squirrels, uh, squirrel rather, appear. And that's number two. We're doing them in order, by the way. And uh, now we are moving on to number three. Number three is on Buccaneer Bay. You're gonna get up to this checkpoint. Um, you see me at very shortly um, right here and once you do reach this checkpoint you're just gonna go backwards and once you do go backwards and fall over this edge not faulting obviously just land flat and drive forward and that should be number three for you if you're going in order <clears throat> number four is on high level degree this one's a little complicated you have to smash all three panes of glass in one run without faulting um, from the first to the from the first pane to the last uh, to the very end of the level. So you see me smash the first pane. Here's the second pane. I like to do it like this. You can do it another way, but that's the best way. And now moving on to pane number three, right here, you have to fall over very slowly and then back up into it. Once you get this pane as well, all you have to do is finish the level without faulting. If you do fault, it resets all the panes so you do not get the um, squirrel. At the very end of the map, you see there I got the squirrel. That's number four for me if you're going in order. Number five is on the big dig. Um, you'll just approach this part of the level after about 30 seconds in a clean run. And uh, once you get to this part, make sure you go to the middle platform. The uh, scaffolding is going to collapse. You're going to just go into the middle and jump into that skull. You'll make it into this room. And once you make it into the room, the skull in the background will open its mouth to reveal another squirrel. Number five, we're halfway done. Number six is on dry dock. Uh, it's a hard level. For this one, it's kind of difficult. You're going to get to this part, and then you have to go up here, and you have to manage to yourself to somehow go backwards enough with enough speed to land in a minecart. You have to, during this middle platform right here, you have to be on your front tire, and then you have to get a lucky bounce and back up into it. You can fault as long as your body does end up in the minecart. The minecart will start moving, and once it moves to the end of the area, you'll get pelted by squirrels, and you will get number six. Uh, number seven, I believe we're on number seven. Night shift, it's a hard map. Uh, you'll have to make it here, and I recommend doing this all in one shot, going from here to there, bouncing up, and getting on top. Once you get on top, you'll get a green, sh a green filter. I did not edit that in any way. I'm fast forwarding. When you get to this point, you want to hit that um, button. From here on out, you cannot fault. Uh, you have to make it all the way to practically, you know, the end of the map. Um, right here, when you pass through here, you reveal the big hole in the building. Just drop backwards and into there. You cannot fault um, from when you get the green filter and push the button. We're doing number eight right now. It's on toy box. This one's really easy, actually. We're just going to get to this part where there's a marble and a piece of wood. We're going to go left once we um, dent the wood here. And then we have to go down and right. And I take it quite aggressively. I don't know. That's probably the best way is to just jump against that wall. And then you have to fall in this hole. I did actually fall. And uh, I got the squirrel. You can actually land and drive around in there. But I don't know if that's necessary. Number nine is on Coliseum. It's a hard map. We have to bail out pressing Y, press Y to hang on to the zip line, and then we have to fall onto this next zip line. Once we do that, um, I got caught a little bit on something. We're just going to slide down and make sure our character falls into this hole right there, and once we do fall in the hole, we do get a squirrel. That's perfect. Uh, we're moving on to the final and last squirrel. It's on Aftermath, probably the heart, one of the most skilled one, I guess. You have to go up to that platform and then go backwards. Now you're going to light yourself on fire. You have to complete the level faultlessly, obviously, up to the point where you reveal trapdoors. And the trapdoors will only reveal themselves if you're on fire for the whole length of the map. 
and once you do f see the trap doors you just have to fall through them um, even if you do explode into them it's fine and once you do get in there you're gonna find your final squirrels hopefully that does help you guys out and you did get the achievement if it did if you did find it helpful make sure to like the video make sure to view my other guides make sure to view my track central favorite review uh, review videos which are a lot of fun and i'll see you guys around on my channel please subscribe thanks for watching